Hey. FBI surveillance van. The playhouse. Marty's clubhouse. Oh, got one. Henderson's, you're about to get hacked. Oh, hey gang, what am I doing? Doing a little war driving. What is war driving? War driving is actually when somebody drives around a neighborhood, drives around somewhere, and they're actually trying to look for unsecured wireless networks. All right, so an easy way to prevent this, an easy way to um, protect yourself from this is actually hiding your SSID. So what is your SSID? Your SSID is the name of your network. So when you go inside of Starbucks, Starbucks Wi-Fi is the SSID. SSID stands for Service Set Identifier. That doesn't really matter right now, but the name of the network, you can actually disable the name of the network and people won't actually see it when they're looking around. Another thing you can do, uh, especially for war driving, is reduce the range. If I'm driving down the middle of the street, I shouldn't be able to actually pick up your wireless network, all right? So make sure that the range is reduced to only inside your home, maybe to your front porch and maybe your back porch. Any further than that is making you more susceptible to attacks. Um, another thing is just make sure that your network name right your network name just make it something normal because even with war driving if you have a uh, sophisticated enough software even if you hide the ssid they can still pick it up but if you reduce the range then um they won't be able to pick it up in the middle of the street right and then if they are on your in the middle of your grass in the middle of your lawn and maybe like, hey maybe i should go talk to this guy so make sure that you reduce the range and um to protect yourself from war driving this is Dwayne from ITMasterKey.com. Uh, this is a quick class about war driving. Pop quiz. What is war driving? Bam. It's just when somebody drives around your neighborhood looking for unsecured wireless networks. What's the easiest way to prevent that? Reduce the range of your actual router. You can do all of this through the admin portion of your router. So hopefully you enjoyed this, and I'll see you in class.